A book is a sequence of spaces. A book is not a case of words, nor a bag of words, nor a bearer of words. A book is a space-time sequence. In the old art, the writer writes texts. In the new art, the writer makes books. The impassive shore of the book is always first. In the new art, the writer assumes the responsibility for the whole process. The book's quest to know its process. Poems are songs the poets repeat, but they don't sing them, they write them. Black riders galloping across the page. Using space is a characteristic of written poetry. The space is the music of the unsung poetry. It seemed to me that I was looking at the form and pattern of a thought placed for the first time in finite space. Here, space itself truly spoke, dreamed, and gave birth to temporal forms. Space exists outside subjectivity. The new art knows that books exist as objects in an exterior reality, subject to concrete conditions of perception, existence, exchange, consumption, use, etc. How to succeed in making a rose that is not my rose, nor his rose, but everybody's rose, i.e. nobody's rose. by placing it within a sequential structure, for example, a book, so that it momentarily ceases being a rose and becomes essentially an element of the structure. Nobody or nothing exists in isolation. Everything is an element of a structure. Every structure is in its turn an element of another structure. Expectancy, doubt, concentration, all were visible things. With my own eye, I could see silences that had assumed bodily shapes. An appreciable instance became clearly visible, the fraction of a second during which an idea flashes into being and dies away. There is in the same void like some new form of matter arranged in systems or masses or trailing lines coexisted, that coexisted the word. Everything that exists is a structure. The new art creates specific reading conditions. The irrefutable fact that books have a color We are programmed by colors. Plagiarism is the starting point of the creative activity in the new art. A smell of printing in the kitchen. The best approach to gain a sense of the book is to become, to become acquainted with the book as physical object. Pick up a book, hold it, feel it, Look at it, <clears throat> then examine it, not routinely or mechanically by habit, but make a conscious effort to see at every step in the process, every movement of the eyes or hands. The 
The work is its own continuous accumulative impression, varying and differing not only for each reader, but each time it is read. For this continuous structure to be effective, it must be the antithesis of a sequential reading. I wanted the books to come to people in the mode of news. In this sense, rather than chapbook, perhaps one should say pamphlet. It is for this reason that I didn't hand sew the books. They are all stapled, a transgression in the world of fine printing, but highly practical in the world of pamphleteering. A medium, a genre, a corpus of texts, or a specific textual culture. The mainstream of American poetry, the part by which it has been and will be known, has long been in the margins, nurtured in the margins, carried forward, vibrant in the margins. As mainstream and margin both, it represents our underground economy as poets, the gray market for our spiritual corporeal exchanges. It is the creation as such of those poets who have seized or often have invented their own means of production and of distribution. They're distilled books. They're books that aren't books. They prefer not to be books. They remember books. Chapbooks are stealth books. They can slip under a door. They are a small clearing in the woods furnished with obsolete office machinery. The book is a physical object. The handheld book demands touching. Effort, effort must be taken to view it. The unit of the work. The unit of the work is the word. In the beginning was the word that wanted to resemble. To read a book is to perceive sequentially its structure. To have read the work in sequence is only one of several possibilities, as the supposed sequence exists in a condition of simultaneity. We awaited a book that avoids all parallels with other books aside from their mutual use of ink and type, as if there were the slightest need in making a statue appear in a pit to be the sculptor. It remained to examine these grid-covered pages out of a thousand old books with all kinds of titles of forgotten identity, by which I mean that they are no longer read. These illustrations, unlike the impossibly boring texts they refer to, represent for us a plethora of such disconcerting conjectures that they become precious in themselves. as is the meticulous reconstruction of a crime witnessed in a dream without our being in the least concerned with the name or motives of the assassin. In order to be able to read the new art and to understand it, you don't need to spend five years in the faculty of English. I dream of a book of mysteries equal to the arrogance and serenity in faces carved on Pharaoh's mummies. I'd like to be able to reflect on each and every word. I'd like not only to give each one a different subterranean meaning, but also to break its jaw and thus transform the face it apparently intends to possess forever. I want to work the miracle which is precisely the act whereby one comes to no longer believe one's own eyes. This book is unusual and immobile, yet orderly as a cast.
the distance of viewing is set between about 14 inches and perhaps 25 inches because the physical length of the viewer's arm controls the distance. The book, as object, is intimate. It insists on a one-to-one -one confrontation, the bookmaker and viewer. The pages of the book are doors. Words go through them, driven by their impatience to regroup, to read the end of the work, to reach, it's supposed to say, to reach the end of the work, to be again transparent. Light is in their absence, which you read. There's no thesis in this text where each thing is. A book can be seen anywhere, at any time, in any situation, and can be returned to time and again. The trouble of a book is chiefly to be nothing but book outwardly, to wear binding like binding, bury itself in book death, yet to feel all but book. Much can be perceived about its potential by just holding a book and thinking. Now open it. Thank you.